Well, um, I thought the second 20 was the best we've played to date. And obviously it's early in the season. Um, and I thought our guys did a really good job. You know, early season, you want to learn some lessons and figure some things out. And when you're down 11-2 to start, um, it, you want to see how young guys can respond. And I thought we did a really good job from that point of responding and, and getting a lead before we went into halftime. Uh, and then I thought in the second half, we came out and just put it all together, both defensively and, and offensively. I thought defensively, we were pretty consistent uh, in both halves. I thought first half offensively might have been as bad as we played. Um, three assists. We're a program that averages nearly 17 assists a game. And the ball's got to move. Uh, I think our offensive efficiency was around 106 at half. Second half, it was 160. And we had 15 assists. So there's a great parallel to the reason why your efficiency goes up. And that's moving the ball and sharing it. And I thought the second half, it moved a lot better. Um, and we're really getting, uh, I think that we're developing something out of our D stops that's special because we're very good in transition. Um, and we're starting to learn how to play together and with different, different lineups, different combinations. And, uh, but overall, extremely pleased. I thought, uh, especially in the second half, because this was a very dangerous offensive team. And uh, to hold them to 58 points, 30% shooting, uh, there's a lot of positives defensively. Uh, Moses, I think in the first half, scored all his points on second chance points, and then the second half got more involved in the flow of the offense. How, how impressive was his all around uh, game tonight? Well, Mo's just, uh, you know, Moses, special, special player, you know, 23, 14, and 8 uh, in less than 30 minutes. So he's a presence at both ends, and uh, he's very, very active. You know, seven offensive rebounds uh, is terrific activity. So. He runs, he catches everything. He's got great hands, he's got quick feet. Uh, you saw him a little bit today in, in getting a loose ball and dribbled it to about half court. There's gonna be a day he's gonna dribble it all the way. I, you know, and I'm not gonna be able to stop him. Um, and he's capable of doing that. So he's just, uh, he's a gifted individual, uh, but I just love his motor. He, he's got a high motor. And when you've got a high motor at 7-2, um, you got a chance to be pretty doggone good. And, uh, we're seeing that out of Mo. He's had a very special start to his uh, freshman year. Um, and I, people have to prepare for him, and I think that's going to open up some things for some other guys. Steve, you had another solid night from some of the bench guys, especially Jules. Are you at the point where you have confidence that they can either come in and hold the fort or even extend things? Yeah, I think, you know, again, it's early in the season, but – We've always, always had confidence with freshmen. I've always played freshmen, so um, I, I like them coming out of high school with their confidence and throwing them right in there. And, you know, we've always done that with our freshmen, and so we're doing that again with this group, and, and they're playing very well uh, with what, um, obviously, Moses, Jules, uh, um, and David are doing. And we got Kenny in there tonight, which was good because I like getting him some minutes. Uh, and then I like that sophomore, you know, the group of sophomores, too, that – Obviously, uh, Wilkes and Hands played last year and Chris Smith, but Chris Smith's playing a little different role. I think he's playing at a really high level, and Jay Hill didn't play at all last year, so he's learning and doing a lot of good things and arguably might be one of our better defenders. So, um, you know, we're just a very young, inexperienced team, so we have to – we break it down into four-minute segments regardless of what the score was, and we're just pounded into them. This four minutes is important because we got to keep learning. It's an experience that – we're not going to get back. And so we just got to keep learning in every four minute segment. And I thought the guys did that. I didn't like our start. If there was a negative, I didn't like our start. Um, but outside of the first four minute start, it was pretty good 36 minutes. Uh, Coach Jalen and Chris, I think they went 0 for 11 the first half. What did you see from them uh, in the first half and what changed in the second? Yeah, I thought I think they were in a hurry. And those, those are our two leaders. Um, and we talked about that. I, I thought both Jay and, and Chris were in a little bit of a hurry. And there's going to be nights where the ball just doesn't go in for them. Uh, you just you take good shots and you miss them. But I thought we were in a little, both of those guys were in a little bit of a hurry. I think Jay had one assist at halftime, and, and Chris had one rebound at halftime. So my message was, if the shot's not going and you're taking good shots, then let's get five assists, Jay, and let's get five rebounds, Chris. Uh, and I thought in the second half, um, they allowed the game to come to them a little bit more. Uh, Jay ran the show, I thought, much better in the second half. The first 10 minutes of the second half, I thought he, he orchestrated what we wanted to do both offensively and defensively very well. Uh, and Chris took better shots. And 
because of that, more shots went in for him. So those are two guys that we need playing at a high level. And the encouragement was we're up seven with those two not playing particularly well uh, in the first half. And I thought the second half they were much better. Coach, over the first two games, it was uh, nine, nine block shots over the course of the first two games combined. And now tonight was 13 and eight from Mo alone. Um, what kind of led, other than Mo being 7-2, what led to the 13 blocks tonight? Well, I don't think very many other guys really, their blocks probably didn't go up that much. Uh, maybe Prince, he didn't get two blocks a game, but it was just Mo. You know, Mo's presence is, um, is huge. I mean, he's, he's got great timing. He's just a big, that, and he had eight blocks, I bet he changed another eight shots. Um, but that's what we need. And I think now I'm hoping that we're able to gain momentum defensively that we can pressure more. Uh, you know you've got that guy on the back line as a rim protect, and we haven't had a rim protect. Uh, but the thing that I've really liked about Mo through three games, he hadn't been in foul trouble. Uh, so he's done a very good job of defending without getting in foul trouble. Um, and we're learning to play with him, you know. And this team, I thought, did a good job of trying to surround him in the post. And we'll be able to watch this tape and help Mo and help the team because they played him a little bit different in the post. Uh, I think there was a lot of attention given to him in the post. And yet he still gets 23 points, seven offensive rebounds. Uh, he's a load offensively. And um, – really opens up things for the perimeter that way when we go inside out. And that's what we've got to be able to do offensively is make sure we're going inside out. Uh, one more thing about Moe's. Uh, how strong is he and how strong is he going to get? Because, he, you know, obviously 7172 seems kind of wiry, but it seems well, like when he's big. in, in yeah, the post, he's, he he's can pretty, hold his own. He's pretty big and strong for a freshman. You know, if you look at his legs and he's got a great foundation to him, uh, he's got pretty good strength. You run into Mo, you feel it. Um, and he's got that, you know, we always told him he's like a young, like a young giraffe. Sometimes you don't know if he's going right, left, forward, backward. Uh, but because of that, it hurts. You know, you run into a young giraffe, that still hurts. <laughs> you know, and uh, as he continues to mature, you're going to see him get even more fluid. But no, there are not too many bigs at 7'2 run the floor like he does. Um, not too many bigs have feet like he does. He's got quick feet. And he's got terrific hands. So when you're 7'2", long, great hands, great feet, <laughs> um, I wish I had him longer than what I'm going to have him because uh, he's special. And uh, I think he's going to uh, – I think he's, you're going to see him just continue to evolve because he's uh, – he, like I've said, he's got a motor. He cares. He works. You can get on him. He responds to good, tough criticism uh, of making him get better. Like today, he played a, a, an individual – I think it was uh, 33, always, went, always goes right shoulder. Um, he'll learn scattering ports uh, of that, that somebody's going right shoulder. He does, he's never heard of that before. And uh, so he'll learn that, that when somebody is one shoulder specific in the post, he'll learn to defend that a little bit better. And so he's like everybody else. you got to get better, and he'll learn from different things. But uh, um, Mo's, a, Mo's a special talent, and he's a terrific personality for our team. Coach, going back to the blocks, you guys had 13, but you also gave up 19 offensive rebounds. Is there any concern that guys are chasing blocks and giving up defensive rebounding position? Well, this team, the team we were playing averages 19 offensive rebounds. So, you know, if there was a, if there was a negative, again, I've got to watch tape. I, I thought we were much better in the second half uh, than we were the first half with, offensive board, with their offensive board play. Um, but they did miss 50 shots. So if you miss 50 shots, you know, there, that's, a lot, that's a lot of chances to go get it. So you miss 50 and you get 19 of those back, that means we got 31 of them. So, it, it, you know, it's just, you know, sometimes there's just so many misses that, they're, you know, that's going to be a difficult thing. But it's something that we'll stress, and um, we want to make sure that we'll continue to work on that. But I think our defensive efficiency tonight was around 81. So regardless of what board play looked like, if our defensive efficiency is going to be at that level, it's really – and you saw that in the second half. We scored almost 60 points the second half because we got a lot of stops and we can get out and run.